Hey, what's up? So talking about Avid to After Effects, I think I'm going to be very different than the other videos that you see about this. Why I use After Effects in almost every single video I do is for full screen elements, for titles, for lower thirds. As someone who's used After Effects in every single video I do for the last 10 years, I really don't see any reason to combine the two as this one unit. So I know there's a process to do that. I'm going to even leave links in the description below where people show you how to do that. You export an AAF file and then you import it as a pro import. And then all those clips come into your After Effects as if they were an Avid. But here's what I'm going to argue against. It works fine and it's easier to organize and to replace clips if you think of them as completely separate elements. The idea that you're saving so much time by linking and, and being able to go back and forth, I don't think it saves you that much time. So I'm going to go over why I like to import my finished files from After Effects, okay? The idea that I need to link and then transcode to save myself time. I don't buy this, I, and maybe with the new Avid, I know they're using a different software, the UME thing, that maybe the, the link looks better. I'm sorry, I just did this 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 test right here, one clip linked, one clip import. If you see this, this frame right here, I'm gonna zoom in on it. There's no difference whatsoever. They're on the exact same frame. And your idea is, well, if I link, it's easier for me to change that. And I'm going to show you how I change a, a finished file right now. So we have this graphic, and this happened to me many times with this project I was working on. And somebody gave me all these, these titles and these names or whatever, and then when they went back, somebody you know, maybe who worked at this, this hospital said, no, we'd rather have this title on it, whatnot. So in this case, I'm very specific about how I named the file. This one's called her name dash dash ID. And so in this case, if I was to change, and I was going to add something that says, and she loves beer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to render that. And what I'm going to do is go and find the folder. And here's the tr really the trick the way I do it. I don't want to make a second copy of this. I don't want to have the original copy. I'm pretty diligent about this. When I first started doing After Effects, I used to never go over anything I already made. I was nervous about that. So I'd have this file. I'd say I would have her name, file two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would never go over the same file. And finally, I got confident enough or realized that really wasn't the smartest way to do it. So in this case, I have her her name, and I'm, once I click on it here, it's actually going to change it in the file name, whatever I wanted to here, which is a kind of a, a pretty cool uh, time saver there. And now once I have this name in here, I'm going to hit save. It's going to tell me, this file already exists. Do you want to replace it? And this is the big thing. Yes, I do want to replace it. I want to replace this old file with this file that says, and she loves beer. And I like the fact that it's rendering in a separate program. I don't like that they're connected in Avid and After Effects. I had, now I'm doubling the chance of, of a problem. I'm doubling the chance of something crashing, right? So now this file is rendered. I'm going to go back into Avid. And now what I'm going to do, because I imported this clip before, this clip right here, all I have to do now is batch import it. And clip batch re-import. Now... Batch import, it's going to say offline only or all clips. No, I don't want to import offline only. I want to import this clip. There it is right there. You want to make sure your settings are in place. And now I'm going to import. And now watch what's going to happen here. I think it's going to update you. Right now I have this on the program monitor, this on the source monitor. Once it's in, it's going to update everywhere to me on the source and in my sequence. I hope that does that. Otherwise, I'm going to be very embarrassed. Yes, you see how it just popped in. There it is. Now, in my sequence, I don't have to change anything. There, it, And she loves beer. It's already there. It's, it, so that is, in a sense, to me, what the link and the Avid link is. And the idea, again, I did this for nine different pieces. And to have each one export to AAF, pro import, pro After Effects import, change it, then come back, change it again. No, because what I did was, in a sense, think about even this as a workflow. What I did was each person at a time here, and then I rendered them out. So I, was in one, I wasn't going back and forth between two programs, between two workflows, between making my head explode. I finished all these, then I imported them into Avid, cut the clip in like a normal clip, right? Just, just like any B-roll clip, something you shot on camera. If I needed to change it, you just saw the workflow I did to change it. Just replacing the file in After Effects, 
and then batch importing in Avid, and it pops up. If this clip was in 25 sequences, it would all come in and say, and she loves beer. The only other thing to think about from an Avid to After Effects workflow is that, in this case, I had this move. I put a picture in an After Effects comp, and it had this pretty cool move right here. Now, let's say, for some reason, I didn't want to use a picture. I wanted to use some sort of video from a video I made. Same thing. I would not want to make ad edits and then link it and then be stuck to those frames right there. What I would do, keep it all as a separate element, I might, I would export this, and for the sake of time, I'm not even going to worry about codecs and, and, and frame rates and all that stuff. So I just exported something to my desktop, and let me see if I can find it. Export it here, and then instead of this, this pic, I'm replacing it right here, and then I had this move that happened right here. And I said, now I'm doing this video here. And I would render this and it would be its own separate ele element. I don't want things combined. I'm sure there are people smarter than me that have no problem linking and feeling comfortable with the linking stuff. I'm going to show you a clip here I had I made from Premiere one time when I actually even tried it in Premiere with the Adobe back and forth. And it just even, think about how it names these clips, Linked Comp 5. I'd have to change... I have to change the names of everything I link and going back and forth as opposed to, again, working in one program, duplicating a, a comp, renaming it and rendering it. And then when I import everything into Premiere, it's like I have clips. I don't need to go back and forth. I just showed you what I think is the best way to go back and forth. That's replacing the clip and then batch importing. Or in Premiere, if you replace the clip in Premiere, it automatically updates. You don't even have to do that step in Avid of batch import, which is pretty cool. So I'm definitely going to get more into After Effects as we go forward. I want to make this point here, too. I would never go into After Effects. One, one, one system's better for editing. One system's better for making graphics. And there's no reason to combine the two. The idea that I would bring this sequence with the cuts so I can do something, even if I had a music video where I was going to make something with After Effects on every single cut, I wouldn't bring it in with the AAF Pro import so I can adjust cuts in After Effects. I would lock it down. Video would be locked down in Avid. There would be no reason ever to change a frame, which again, uh, I, I, that causes its own set of problems, I would, I, I, I would imagine. I hope this helps people, and I hope this helps people not feel over-intimidated or feel like, oh my God, I gotta figure out this linked workflow between Avid and After Effects. I say no, I say no, you don't. Let that be for people who don't use After Effects in every single video they do. Again, I'm wrong about a lot of things, so I could be wrong about this, but my guess is that they're not using After Effects in every single video they make. They're using it as some like grandiose idea to think about what you could theoretically do. And it, yeah, it works in theory, but in practical reality, it's much better for me to organize my clips, archive my clips, right? I have no new doubt, no one on them. I have nothing linked. I can see very quickly what has alpha channels on it, what doesn't when I import it. I, I'm just, I'm just, uh, maybe I'm old school on it. Maybe somebody will change me, my mind in the comments. I'm open to that, just like I'm open to drinking any new beers. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.